Welcome, and thank you for joining me as we read scripture and take in the Word of God together. We will read the chapters straight through, and if God gives me any revelation or insight, that will be included at the very end, if at all. I'm using my printed Bible, so it might not exactly match what's on the screen. With that, let's pray and get to today's reading. We'll be praying from Isaiah 25. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. Surely this is our God. We trust in him. He saves us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. Amen. Today we will be reading Genesis 12. I might not know how to pronounce all the names correctly, so I'll just go at it with confidence, and I hope it doesn't distract you. Let's read Genesis 12. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all the people on the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarah and his nephew Lot, and all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran. They set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Marah at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there for the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he went on towards the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward Negev. Now there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while, because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, Sarah, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife. Then they will kill me, but let you live. Say you are my sister, so that I will be treated well for your sake and my life will be spared because of you. When Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sarah was a very beautiful woman, and when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh, and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants, and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious disease on Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife Sarah. So Pharaoh summoned Abram. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister so that I took her to be my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to his men, and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for your word that you have given us. I thank you for you're speaking to us, give us instruction, give us the insight that you would just have us receive. I thank you for speaking to each one of us individually. I pray that you would bless us today, that you would just help us to seek you wholeheartedly as we go about our day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening. Have an amazing day.